Hello and welcome back to the channel. It's Motions Biz here and I am back with some update from Navy Federal. But again, let me give a shout out to our very new subscribers. I noticed that we have quite a few of them lately since I started making videos again. And I would like to welcome you to the channel. I am glad that you are finding some important uh, information. And especially our comment section is very, very rich with information from other members as well and in fact our news today came from a community member and thank you for watching the previous video that i just uh, published and that is about uh, how to make the most of your credit limit increases and your credit applications with navy federal and we have quite a good reception for that from our subscribers and from viewers so there is really an interest in that and thank you for supporting the channel and watching those videos and continuing to support Motions Biz. It is quite good news to hear that from Navy Federal, Navy Federal is already rolling out initial credit limits to its credit cards for $30,000. I would like to acknowledge these two community members who actually brought this to my attention. Uh, it is at Sin 96 and Daydreamer Chance who got the initial credit limit of $30,000. Now, if you are one of those who were able to get the initial credit limit of $30,000, share that information uh, in the comment section below. So we also have three community members who sent me a message saying that they too actually got the initial credit limit for their cash rewards credit card for $30,000. Seems like Navy Federal is just getting better and better and business must be really good because they are becoming very generous as well. So we already know that for the longest time, Navy Federal was giving out a maximum of $25,000 credit limit on all of its credit cards. And that was what happened with me with my initial cash rewards credit card and the flagship credit card, which I had an initial limit of 25,000 for each of them. But now it seems like $30,000 is really generous. And I'm sure that makes you wonder what should you do or what qualifies you for that maximum initial credit limit. And because I noticed that we have members who are very new to Navy Federal and you may still be in the process of getting a, your initial card with Navy Federal, I encourage you to start your gardening right away because give it a little bit of time and build that relationship a little bit more because you have a better chance of getting higher credit limits. And of course, if you already have a very good personal credit profile, it is very likely that even on the date that you sign up with Navy Federal, you can get a credit card. But think about this. There is no way that you would get that initial limit. It's because you are new. Navy Federal is still trying to determine what kind of relationship you will have with them. And you may be able to get an initial limit. And that has happened to a lot of people who are very new to Navy Federal but have good personal credit uh, scores and good personal credit profiles. Now, if you wait a little bit more and allow your profile or your internal score to build a little bit more with Navy Federal, that will make a difference because when I signed up with Navy Federal, I tried to follow all the recommendations of other members who have been through that, the gardening and the relationship building, and it made a difference with my request for a first credit card with Navy Federal. So don't rush. And if you are already a member of Navy Federal and you already have one credit card or you are in the process of asking for a second credit card, take time to build that relationship. And some folks may say that they are of the opinion that you don't need to build that relationship. But remember, with Navy Federal, relying on your personal credit profile alone is not enough because Navy Federal has a different internal credit score scoring and they have an internal credit score where they would actually rate a member based on the relationship, based on uh, the products you use with Navy Federal based on your personal credit scores, based on your behaviors, based on your credit behaviors and how you interact with Navy Federal. And that is the reason why in a lot of my videos, I always 
emphasize relationship building. And the four things that I'm very particular with, with building that relationship, even you are a current member of Navy Federal, but never really made any attempt or made any effort to maximize your profile with Navy Federal, you better get started now. You want to get that initial credit card limit with Navy Federal. Let's say it's your second credit card, your third credit card, you still have a very big chance. Make sure that you've done your pledge loan. Make sure that you have established an easy certificates account and the Save First account, especially for beginners who have really no other products with Navy Federal. But if you have certificates and big amount investments, you should be fine. Then direct deposit. Four things, remember that, okay? Pledge loan, easy certificates, Save First account, direct deposit. So just focus on those four things. And if you have other things going on with Navy Federal, like a car loan, a personal loan, you are good. But for those who really just started and for you to have that chance to get that initial $30,000 limit, then just start working on that. It's never too late to get started. As your profile with Navy Federal improves and they can give you access to their credit cards, that also improves your credit your personal credit profile. And when that happens, the more you improve your personal credit profile, then it goes back to you having even an even better profile with Navy Federal and access to higher limits. So it's almost like it just goes around. So when you build your credit with Navy Federal, I really believe, and I have seen so many people start building their credit profiles up by starting with Navy Federal. And I will try to share a video regarding that as well on how to build your personal credit by using Navy Federal. Now that we know that Navy Federal is starting to roll out higher initial credit limits, it makes you wonder, would they possibly increase? The credit limit increases as well from 8,000 to maybe 10,000. So you'll never know. Or they may try to increase the general limit on three credit cards with Navy Federal to a hundred grand. So let me know your thoughts. So it may be possible that that may happen in the future, but for now, the $30,000 credit limit, initial credit limit is real and it is happening. So you better work on that personal credit profile, Navy Federal internal credit score and your Navy Federal profile. So you have a chance for that high initial credit limit. Just in case you were one of those who was able to enjoy the $30,000 initial credit limit, share that here in the community. So again, this is Motions Biz, and I really appreciate you. Thank you so much for supporting this little channel. It's Motions Biz, and until next time, thank you and stay blessed.